Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about postpartum uterus ultrasound reporting. We will be seeing how to write ultrasound reports in cases of postpartum uterus or cases related to the uterus after delivery. The report will include the findings and the impression. The first case is early stage postpartum uterus and these are the findings. In this example, the uterus appears enlarged compared to the pre-pregnancy size. The uterus demonstrates a heterogeneous ecotexture consistent with postpartum involution. No retained products of conception or significant fluid collections are noted within the uterine cavity. The endometrium appears thickened and irregular, which is a typical finding in the early postpartum period. There are no apparent abnormalities or masses within the uterine walls. In the impression, you can mention the ultrasound findings are consistent with a uterus in the early postpartum period, demonstrating signs of involution, and there were no significant abnormalities or retained products of conception detected. The thickened and irregular endometrium is a normal postpartum finding. Here is a second week postpartum uterus. In the findings, the uterus demonstrates ongoing involution with a decrease in size compared to the immediate postpartum period. The uterine walls are gradually thinning and returning to their normal ecotexture, and there were no retained products of conception or abnormal fluid collections. A minimal amount of normal endometrial fluid collection is present, which is a typical finding during the early postpartum period. Then you can write the endometrium appears more regular compared to the immediate postpartum period. Mild uterine contractions may still be observed indicating ongoing involution. In the impression, you can mention the ongoing involution and restoration of normal uterine anatomy. And you can also mention the small amount of normal endometrial fluid collection, which is a common finding during this stage. And then you can write about the appearance of the endometrium and in the end you can also write about uterine contractions if they are present. Now we will look at retained placenta. These are the findings. There is a hyperechoic mass observed consistent with the retained placenta. The placental tissue appears irregular no evidence of vascularity within the mass and there were no significant fluid collections or other abnormalities within the pelvis. Here is the impression for this case. You can mention the hyperechoic mass with irregular appearance and no vascularity which suggests incomplete expulsion of placental tissue after delivery. Now we will look at retained products of conception. These are the findings. The myometrium shows heterogeneous echogenicity with focal areas of increased vascularity. There is a thickened endometrium with irregular contour and heterogeneous echotexture. Multiple echogenic structures are noted within the endometrial cavity. 
multiple hyperechoic and hypoechoic fragments are observed. Here is the impression. The findings are consistent with retained products of conception in the endometrial cavity. And then you can write about clinical correlation and you can also advise DNC or medical interventions to ensure complete removal of the retained products of conception. Here are RPOC reports with Gutenberg classification. This is type 0. For a type 0 RPOC, the findings will include a hyperechoic avascular mass. The avascular nature of the mass indicates a lack of significant blood flow within it. In the impression, you can mention the type 0 classification along with the presence of hyperechoic avascular mass. And then you can write about clinical correlation. Here is a type 1 RPOC. A heterogeneous mass is identified. The mass demonstrates variable echogenicity and lacks a well defined border. Minimal vascularity is observed within the mass. You can mention the type 1 RPOC in the impression and also write the findings which include a heterogeneous mass with minimal vascularity and in the end you can write about clinical correlation and further management. In the findings of a type 2 RPOC, there is a hyperechoic mass with high vascularity seen with prominent blood flow signals. You can mention the hyperechoic mass with high vascularity in the impression as well and then you can write about clinical correlation. In the findings of a type 3 RPOC, there is increased vascularity noted within the endometrium as well as increased vascularity within the hyperechoic mass. You can write these findings in the impression and then you can write about clinical correlation. Here is a case of arteriovenous malformation. These are the findings within the uterine wall an abnormal high velocity turbulent flow pattern is observed indicative of an arteriovenous malformation. The flow within the AVM demonstrates both arterial and venous characteristics. Multiple tortuous and dilated blood vessels are visualized within the uterine wall consistent with the presence of an AVM. Color Doppler imaging reveals intense and disorganized blood flow signals within the AVM indicating the presence of abnormal arteriovenous shunting. In the impression you can write the findings such as multiple dilated and tortuous vessels within the uterine wall with high velocity and turbulent blood flow patterns and you can conclude that these findings are consistent with an AVM. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.